Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to my new walkthrough of Super Mario 64 DS. Ah, what a revolutionary game this was, and it was actually a launch title for the DS, I believe. Ah, this will be a fun game, and it'll be a fun walkthrough. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But for now, let's just start with the adventure, and uh, let's start with, um, File B. B for Bradley. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I've baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. So in this game, you'll start out as no none other than Yoshi, and you can do plenty of different things. You can, you know, run around, you can do your side flips, you can long jump, you can uh, back flip, you can ground pound, and if you're Yoshi, you can eat. So cool stuff, and now it's up to Yoshi to save Princess Peach and the other three Mario, Luigi, and Wario. And also, as you just saw there, if you're Yoshi and you do a double jump, you can flutter kick. You need a key. Kind of... Okay. Okay, cal or camera's kind of flickering. Alright, so I guess we better go get the key then, and apparently on the bottom screen, it's... over there! So, uh, yeah. Oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Uh, long jumping is your friend in this game. There is no way to go faster than a long jump. Nuh-uh. And so, to catch this bunny, I have to eat it! And there we go, I've eaten the bunny. <laughs> And with that, he'll give us the key we need to get into the castle. Yeah, so uh, these bunnies will be common throughout this game, so you better get used to them. But for now, let's just get our key to the castle. And, uh, sure, I'll save. Okay. So, uh, now let's head back to the castle. And again, long jumping is the fastest way to go, especially as Yoshi. So, once you get your key, you can just... Hop on in! Nobody's home, you liar. Anyway, your first level is going to be over here to the left because it's the only one you really can go to, unless you know your glitches, and I don't. So anyway, here we go! This is level number one, Bob on Battlefield. Here's star number one, Big Bob I'm on the summit. Whenever you're ready, start. So this is... Oh, well, Bob on Battlefield. A lot of people that haven't played this game may know this song for various reasons. It's a popular song. It's a catchy song. Anyway, if you're Yoshi, like I said, you can eat your enemies and you can turn them into eggs and you can throw them at other enemies to uh, spawn coins. Now, coins don't really have the biggest use in this game. I mean, they do later. Red coins are worth uh, two coins and there's eight per level. Uh, coins will be important later, but for now, let's just get to the where the little golden star is. The touch screen will always show you where the golden star is, unless you have to do something for it to appear. Also, normally you'd have to go around this little tower place, but some people don't know that you can actually just run up this hill right here. Oh, and there's another 
red coin in case you want it. And now to the top of this little area. And you can go inside this little uh, dent right here and you'll teleport higher up this little hill, whatever, whatever it is. And side flip my way up here. Hello, King bob -omb, or Big bob -omb, or whatever you would like to call yourself. This is your first star of the game, unless, well, technically, without glitches, you can get another star early in the game. But for now, let's just go in order. Ugh, the eggs, they do nothing. Ooh, bob -omb, don't mind if I do. Yes, so the goal of this boss fight is just simply pick up the bob -omb and shoot them back at him. Do this three times, he'll blow up and you'll get your star. Here's it, number two. Take that, Mr. King. Big bob -omb person. Ah. And hit number three. Oh, hang on. There you go. Oh, whoops. I got too close there, apparently. And when you get hit, you'll notice a little power thing comes up. You can take eight hits, and to replenish your health, you'll either have to come out of water, or you'll have to get a coin, or you'll hit a heart thing. But these will all be shown later. Anyway... Without further ado, we'll get our first Power Star! And there you go! Power Star obtained! Now after you get your Power Star for the level, you'll come out here. Unless you got a different star, which I'll explain later. Anyway, that about... Oh yeah, once you get a certain amount of Power Stars, you can unlock other location of the castle. Anyway, that about wraps up this part of Super Mario 64 DS. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Sorry this part was so short. But anyway, see you all next time in the next part. Bye bye <laughs>